and thanks once again for tuning in to Mo's High Pair Cutting Tutorial. Today we will be doing a short pixie cut on my model Miss Shaniqua here. So if you have the time, take a minute and check me out. We're going to work. So I have my Andis Master Clippers right here and I have a number one guard on here with the clippers all the way closed to give me that shaved sleek look that I'm looking for, okay? The hair has also been previously cleaned and relax. I'm going, excuse me, close to the scalp with my trust so I can get an even as possible cut, okay? And you can continue to move around the perimeter of her hair. With my comb being my guide, I'm not going above my blue comb. And this is the inch comb that I'm using. The hair is kind of clogging up my clippers. Because it's so long. Okay? Say it. So long. <laughs> See, with me holding my comb at like a zero degree, it's allowing me to create a guideline that's straight, sleek, and precise, which is what I'm looking for. I'm just gonna continue going around by the nape of the area of the head, making sure that I've cut everything and not missing a beat on nothing, okay? As you can see. So now you see we got short and then we have graduated length up there at the top, okay? Now I'm going to switch out my blade. Take off the number one. And I'm going to jump back down to a double zero for the nape area, okay? To remove all that weight right there. Minding you, I'm putting the guard on here and I'm gonna go as half. So we're not closed, we're not all the way open, but we're gonna be half, okay, which is directly in the middle. And I'm gonna start right here around her neck area, just at the very, very bottom. Okay, as you can see, it's removing that hair with no problem. Smaller the guard, the more hair it will take off, okay? So now that we created that line right there, as you can see, the little heavyweight line, I'm going to open them up all the way now and go just a little bit above that. Kind of remove that line, okay? You don't want to go up too high, just staying real close and kind of taking the line out that you previously put in. Always coming back down to make sure that you are actually removing the weight right there, okay? Next guard, we're going to use the number zero guard. Closed clippers. And just continue to climb up just a little bit at a time. Continually taking that weight out right there around her neck area. And as you can see, it's doing what it's supposed to do. Okay, I'm going to open them up to the second notch. Continue to take it that line out of there, okay? Now they open all the way up. As you can see, we are making a clean cut fade, okay? Or well, taper, rather. Now number zero A. I'm gonna go up just a little bit more to make sure that that line is completely out. Because we definitely don't want no line. Let's hold your head down. All right, looking good. Making sure it's not dark or heavy in any spots. Making sure that it's just right, okay? Now that we've completed the shaving part, okay, as you can see, we got a nice fade there, no lines, and that's what you want, nice taper, clean, okay. Next step, we are going to blend this medium part within the short part, okay. So for that, we're going to need to wet her hair, 
take off this dry cake. <laughs> and now we're gonna do a little wet cutting, okay? So from dry to wet, how I like to cut, yep. And now what we're doing basically now is blending. We're gonna blend all of this medium length hair into the short hair, right there, okay? And how I like to do it, I like to start by using sections, small sections. Bringing the hair straight out to me. The guideline is a short hair where I previously cut it through there. Small sections. And now we're just blending. I'm also using a traveling guideline for anybody that needs to know. And I guess you know a traveling guideline is when you move the hair and travel with it. To make everything nice. And even as you can see everything is blending right in perfectly. Now with this part, this section of the hair, I'm going to start bringing it back and over directing for the length of my bang. So as you can see, it's no more a traveling guideline. Bringing the hair back and over directing for the length of her bangs. She's gonna have some bang, bang, bangs. Okay, so bring it back, over direct. Make sure everything is blended on the sides really good. Pull my hair down. Make sure it's blending real good. A little heavy still right here behind the ear. So I'm just gonna take that section here and blend. Blend is the name of the game, baby. Okay. As you can see, the heavy line has been removed. Okay. So I'm just going to continue to go back on this side with my traveling guide line. Finish this cut. Don't be like me. Do not. I repeat, do not cut past your second knuckle because it can cause some damage. I know you learned that in school. And I did too. But I tell you, when you get in this business and when you become, when you get to be um, on your own, you do little tricks and you do little different stuff. But I tell you, just just be careful. Cause when the shears are sharp, babe, oh Lord Jesus, you want to make sure that you're gonna be all right and not bleed and having to stop what you're doing to uh, bandage it up. Okay, I'm just blending here. Blending, 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 blending. Making sure everything is intact. Okay, I'm gonna put this length right here. Remember I told you, over directed back for the sake of the bang, which is also called a fringe. Okay, in my line of business. Okay, so now we over directed. We got that back off. So I would call this like a short, classy, but a little long in the front bangy pixie cut, okay? Now she wanted this really short. All I would do is I would continue to take off lens from her top. But as you can see, she want to keep her top, okay? So it looks good. I'm not also, I'm not gonna only cut on the outside of her hair. I'm gonna also cut in the perimeter of her hair, okay? Making sure that her cut is clean and 100% all the way through. Because a cut is not a real true cut unless you cut inside the perimeter as well, okay? So you're gonna bring that hair up, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Ninety degree angle, up, up, up. And we're gonna cut. Up, 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 90 degrees. Over directed, over direct. Keep all my length on this bang, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I 
All right, now that we've gone into the inside, the haircut, I'm just going to kind of cross check it and make sure there's no good. Cross check that is, okay? Cross check your haircut. You cut horizontal, always go back into vertical. You cut vertical, always go back into horizontal to make sure your cut is what you want, okay? So I went in vertical with, with the first initial cut, so now I'm going back horizontal. I'm taking off anything that needs to be taken off, which is not a lot, which is good. I mean, the cut is on point, baby. Yeah, only in the ATL, baby. Come get you some. Mohai pear, salon Ramsey, where it all goes down, sugar. Yes. Let's cut it. Love what I do. Love what I do. Love my clients, too. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. So we got that squared away. And now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a mold, okay? So we're going to do a little mold. And, of course, you know that I only use Nairobi mousse. No gel. No gel. Mm-hmm. Okay, and we're just going to apply that to the hair. All around her hair. Not putting too much. Okay, comb it down with my inch comb. That's one of my favorite combs. Mm -hmm. Just continue doing this in such motion. You wearing it to the right side, my dear? Yes. This side? Yes. Okay. So my client, or my guest, if she want to wear her hair to the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it to the left. Because anytime you wrap your bang to the opposite side of which way you are wearing it, it's going to appear fuller. And I mean, it's going to work, okay? So should she, since she wants to wear her hair to the right with a swoop bang, I'm going to wrap it to the left. Does that make any sense? And if you know what you're doing and you've been doing here, for some time now, then you know it makes sense, okay? So like I said, wrapping the majority to the left. For her fullness and her sash. You want to put a wave on it and pull her down? Okay. And my client just requested a couple waves around the sides, okay? And I love waving, okay? So we're just gonna put this little wave in motion here. Finger there. Okay. Wait a minute, it's so easy. It's so easy and it's so much fun. Oh my God. Because really, I don't consider this a job. I consider this fun. Okay, so we got one wave over there. And now we're going to get another wave going on over here. Let's see. They've got that good hair. I love clients with good hair. Oh my, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. right, neat, neat. Okay. We love clients with good hair. Oh my, yes. Even if you don't have good hair, we still love you, okay? Okay. So, we got our waves, which is all the accents on the side, okay? We got our nice mold, nice and sleek. Find that ear, that little chill, okay? So you see my mold is nice and neat, sleek, no gel. Cause when you got a good relaxer and that got good mousse and aerobic, you can't go wrong, okay? So I'm gonna put these white wraps on her head. Okay. And one more. And now we will put our model under the dryer for 25 minutes and then we will be back with the final look, okay? Thank you.